I think the Tour Down Under, um, just with the, the heat that we know we can expect there, is always a challenge. The race is really early in the season. You start your training early in the winter. I've been training already for more than one month. Plus obviously the big change in conditions going from, from winter in Europe to summer in, in Australia. And we know it can be really brutally hot uh, in Adelaide at that time of year. We believe a, a lot about the training it is also uh, supported by the nutrition. Using the Science and Sport products in training, without the nutritional side, you sort of lose an element of, of being the best you can be. Acclimatising to the heat is really important and acclimatising to the heat is really all about making sure that they're not racing in the heat for the first time when they get there in the race, that we spend some time here in Europe, building up to the type of conditions they'll experience in Australia gradually. You change uh, quite a lot of degrees just in, you know, in a couple of days. For Puccio going into Tour Down Under, you know, his preparation between now and going into Australia will be including some heat sessions. So that'll be sort of one hour maximum uh, on the turbo in a heated room up to, anyway, up to about 35 degrees to help him sort of just, just make that transition into the heat. And when we get to the race, obviously the hydration is, is really critical. Everyone responds differently to, to those demands and having the range of SIS products allows us to customise how we fuel and hydrate the riders through to down under. I think 2017 we did 246 days of racing and we monitor every single day the hydration levels of riders. So we have a good feel and a good sort of pattern of people who do get hydrated in, in certain conditions. For all the riders it's critical that they, they fuel the work that they're going to be doing appropriately. Sprinters, for example, are going to have to deliver a very high intensity effort at the end of a stage. The GC leaders and the climbers, obviously recovery is really important for them as well because they absolutely have to perform every day. One fueling mistake over, over a three week period can cost the whole race. So recovery is really important for the GC riders. Top three tips for performing the heat. One is prepare well. So if you are coming from a cold climate into a hot climate, you know, get into saunas or do some exercise in the heat. When you get out there straight away, uh, certainly in Australia, sun protection, you know, you've got to put that sunscreen on. And also just hydrate well and be mindful of it. You can never really overdo it, I don't think, when it's temperatures up to 40 degrees.